Governor Rose Mofford visited the National Guard Armory in Tucson today to show her support to the soldiers who have been called into active duty. We usually have a convoy of armored, tracked wheel vehicles all come online at one time. The governor was first briefed on the mission of the Guard unit. So this is a typical piece of uh, cargo equipment that we, we have in our company. We have 17 of these types of trucks. Then Governor Mofford talked with the troops. I want to thank you for being here and for what you're doing, for not only for the state of Arizona, but for the United States as a whole. And I hope and pray that God will keep you all well and return you to us soon. Thank you very much. It's a very tough assignment because, I, as I say, 50 years ago I did this, and, and uh, a lot of them didn't come back, and I hope that it doesn't come to that. I hope that they all come back. The Tucson Company operates bulk storage facilities for gasoline and what can be called a mobile filling station. We store almost 2 million gallons of fuel on the ground in those bags that you saw outside. So we, we just hold fuel, people bring it to us, we dispense it uh, out to other units that need it. Morale is very high. Uh, this is something we've trained for. I've been in the Guard 17 years, and this is something I've trained for every day that I've been in the National Guard. So uh, it couldn't be any higher because of this is what we're trained to do. It's like being a firefighter and being trained to do that and never going to a fire. But now we're actually being called out and being able to uh, be utilized in the capacity of what we've been trained to do. I don't mind going, except now that it's getting so close, I kind of start missing my family. At first, it was all right, you know. But I feel good about going. Uh, I'm kind of excited, but I'm scared at the same time. I, um, I feel that I need to do it because um, it's, it's what I came into the service for. But I'm scared because you never know what to expect, especially since it's, a, in a sense, a combat environment. It's a combat situation. But, you know, so scared, excited, nervous, want to, don't want to. It's, you know, mixed emotions. What about your family? What are they thinking? Um, that's a touchy subject because my husband's in the service right now, active duty, and he's he's subject to deployment real quick. So, um, and we don't want us both to have to go over there. We have three dependents, so it's just uh, he's trying to get out, and so that one of you know one of us will be able to, to be home with the kids. But um, he's he's supportive in the whole thing though, so that helps helps a lot. My wife is uh, she's backing me up 100%. Uh, my my boys. They kind of disagree on that, but I told them, hey, somebody's got to protect a country, and unfortunately it was me. I believe everybody here is uh, out for a purpose, you know, to go out there and do something. And uh, God willing, everybody will come back pretty safe.